Let's extend the underhive market with what's already in the box, a few bits we've got left over from making and modding other kits, and two other things. I loved this set instantly when it came out, mainly because it added a bit of life to what was a pretty lifeless set of Necromunda terrain, but also because this is perfect for use in so many other games. But what I liked most was that a market hinted at the existence of lots of other people. My one major gripe with Necromund has always been people. Welcome back to the state of play. Where are all the people? If you take this statement from Necromunda.com, Necromunda is host to several thousand hive cities, some vast in scale, and home to billions. Home to billions? Billions? Where are they all then? Why does Games Workshop not sell a big box of random people to scatter around your underhive? People you can grab and use as shields, throw off edges, kidnap, force to do reconnaissance. A market implies this, but it took Games Workshop months to release a few Forge World super expensive market traders. Any dystopian movie you've ever seen always has thousands of people kicking about. But not Necromunda. It's just a bunch of gangs fighting it out in a completely empty environment devoid of the aforementioned massive population. Anyway, back to the market. The kit is great, super easy to paint and assemble, but it suffers from that typical Games Workshop choose A or B scenario, while deliberately not giving you the tiny pieces you could use to make both. Six fully complete heads, arms and bodies, three sets of legs. You're forced to choose between guns or storage caskets, and you can swap what you put on the rack, but you can't have both. And you've got all these other tiny pieces of scatter but the kit comes with very few places to actually put them. Well, I want both gun racks and storage caskets. I want all the scatter terrain to look like they actually have a purpose in a heavily populated and lived in underhive. And I want all these things to work in Kill Team, Stargrave, Zombicide, Zona Alpha, and a whole host of other games. So we're gonna use two items that I absolutely know you have lying around to extend this terrain further. Cocktail sticks and standard mini bases. I'm sure you remember these from my previous videos where I made extra walls from plasma pipes. You might also remember those kids' toy pipes that I told you fit perfectly into the pipe ends that come in the columns and walls box. The leftover bits you cut off the pipes to make the walls are now the perfect height to make little stands for the scatter pieces. And the table is as simple as gluing a base onto the top of this small section or two pipe ends glued together, then painting it up and using it to stick on the tiny scatter pieces. You can do the exact same thing with the kids' toy pipes if you don't have any plasma pipes. In fact, you can make little tables with all manner of things. This one is those top connector pieces from the Sector Mechanicus walkways. Now you have a bunch of extra detailed scatter that takes no time at all. But what about the cocktail stick? After I'd made up my market stalls, I discovered I'd totally forgotten to put these pieces on. Yeah, I didn't read the instructions. Assembling the market stall isn't exactly rocket science. When I went to glue these pieces on, I found myself thinking, but why? The stalls stand up anyway. I didn't want a standalone divider, so these bits were totally redundant. It turned out that the slot in these was the exact diameter of a standard cocktail stick, so you can use them to make another set of legs. And when you've got these extra legs, you can use two more cocktail sticks to create the crossbars. Three cocktail sticks, which gets you two more racks. You don't actually need to choose between a gun rack or a casket rack. You can have both. All that's left is to glue on a load of extra guns because the two that came in the set just seemed a little bit stingy to me. But I guess Games Workshop figured we all have sprues with gun parts left over from loads of other kits. Hundreds of other kits. Thousands of other kits. With all these super easy mods, you can add all this extra scatter to the Underhive market, giving it a much needed lived in feel. And you can attach any little things you might have in your bits box. Candles, rats, milk, beer, whiskey, wine, coke. Now all we need is the huge population to go with it. Thanks for watching. That's the state of play for today.